Hey everybody, welcome back to the show. My name is Alan. You may notice a little bit of noise in the background. I got a fan running. It's a little warm in here, but it is what it is. It's not too bad. All right. So in continuance of our uh, XTL programming series, I thought we would uh, we'll do a uh, basic overview of how you set up uh, MDC 1200. Um, MDC 1200 is a pretty powerful feature. Um, uh, you can do quite a bit with it. Uh, we'll stick to the stuff that's kind of, you know, the, 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 the need to have for MDC for uh, amateur radio. Um, if you want to use it in amateur radio, that is. You don't necessarily have to, but... Um, so anyway, uh, what is MDC? Uh, MD there was two flavors of MDC. There was MDC 600. Uh, an MD, MDC 1200, uh, 600 was a 600 baud, uh, the 1200 was a 1200 baud version, obviously. MDC, <laughs> MDC stood for Motorola Data Communications, and it was a way for uh, portables and mobiles and uh, repeater systems and, and uh, piece apps to send uh, digital information between, uh, between equipment. Um, you know, so this will allow uh, unit numbers, uh, contact lists, um, emergency buttons, um, statuses, radio checks, etc. Um, so, without getting too in the weeds in this one, uh, let's go through what you need to set up uh, to get MDC 1200 working on your XTL. So, first thing we're going to do is we're going to come over here. Uh, to a tree of tree of fun. Actually, uh, you know what? I, 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 for, I forgot a step here. Uh, step number one is always uh, read your radio and save that, save your code plug. Um, you know, just in case something gets screwed up, you got a backup. Anyway, um, and so one thing we're 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 going to ignore. Uh, we're going to skip over the basics of how you set the channel up itself because. I'm going to make the assumption that you've watched the previous videos in the series and know how to set up a channel, uh, how to set up a personality. So we'll kind of, we'll kind of, uh, glance over those. So, okay. So let's go over to our tree of fun. Uh, we're going to open up our, uh, conventional personality and I've got one set up. Let's see which one is it. It has a receive only. It is this one. <laughs> okay, so we see you, the RX voice signal type must be set to non-astro uh, for this to work. Um, and then you're going to come over here to your signaling tab. You're going to set signaling type to MDC. Uh, signaling number to one. Uh, it's your only option currently. And then check the box. It says PTT ID. Um, if you don't have that checked, uh, things aren't going to work uh, quite as well as you hoped. Okay, so we got that set. Now we come to the N MDC tab, and you're pretty much just going to select. You're just going to check all the boxes, uh, so you can we can do all the things. Um, very important though, this unmute type must be set to OR. Um, if it is set to AND, uh, likely what you're going to have is your radio isn't going to unmute. Uh, when you want it to. Um, so just make sure it is set to OR and life will be good. MDC call list. Um, go ahead and select one. You can do one or none. Um, go ahead and select one because I'm going to show you how to set that up. Um, similar to the Astro uh, call list, call ID list. It uh, just makes things a bit more polished, right? It kind of uses some of the more I won't say advanced features, but some, you know, uh, you know, probably some of the more basic features, I guess. It allows you to have your unit IDs or um, uh, know who's, uh, it, it'll show up on your display uh, what radio is, is talking, basically. <clears throat> so, uh, MDC call ID list set to one. Okay. We're done here in our personality. Um, we have that set. We'll go ahead and close that. Okay, MDC MDC system. Okay, primary ID uh, is going to be the ID number of 
the radio that you were about the program. Okay, so you know, whatever you set it to, just remember that this will be the ID number for the radio that you are programming. Um, secondary ID, um, you know, some people leave it the same as primary primary ID. Um, typically what I'll do is I'll uh, um, set up the secondary ID. Um, like if I, if I have a uh, group of radios, I want to be uh, uh, contained to one group. I'll set the secondary ID all the same on those, and then the primary ID will be the individual unit numbers. Variable ID, A01, uh, we can leave that as is for now. Um, and then just check all the boxes. Now, with the exception of, um, for now, you can leave status request unchecked. Um, you can actually leave status and messaging unchecked for now, and radio check unchecked, if you wish. Um, I have these checked in mind because I use these features, and uh, we can get into that later. Okay, um, trailing PTT ID or leading PTT ID. Uh, you can uh, you can actually select both or all of these, um, which is uh, extremely nice of you. But please don't don't. <laughs> it's like one or the other. Um, trailing PTT ID. Uh, is my preferred one um, strictly because uh, I will leave the uh, DOS unchecked the uh, digital operated squelch that way you can you, you can hear the, the data package and I know it's a bit nerdy but I kind of like to hear that that digital sound at the end of the transmission it kind of reminds me of the you know NYPD in the 90s or whatever <laughs> so, um, trailing PTID is what you want uh, like I said, you can do both. Uh, just pick one or the other. Okay. Um, so the general tab is now set. Um, DOS, uh, digitally operated squelch. I have mine unchecked, as I said, because I want to hear that data packet. If you if you check the box, um, uh, it, basically what it's going to do is it's going to mute that digital packet. It's still going to send it, but your radio... Uh, 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 won't unmute, um, so you won't you won't hear it. Um, if you would like to use that feature uh, in your drop down, uh, select 1200 slash 1800 hertz, and your GS coast time. Um, you can kind of play with this to make sure um, you're getting your entire data packet muted. Uh, if you go too far, you can kind of mess things up a little bit, but. Um, for me, I, I prefer to uh, have that unchecked because uh, I like to hear it. So um, I don't have any of the emergency uh, stuff set up. Um, you know, you could you could set this up, or if you put the push the emergency button on the radio, it's going to transmit your uh, radio's ID, etc., uh, etc. Cetera, et cetera. So um, really, that's all we got to worry about in here right now. Uh, whatever's in here, we can pretty much leave to uh, there stock settings right now so uh, that's all we need to do in the MDC systems window so go ahead and close that now okay <clears throat> let's come up here to MDC call list open that up okay um, like I said list A list is this is list one uh, remember, we set that um, uh, up here in the uh, uh, the, the personality we, we, to use list one. Um, here is the radios I have uh, set up. Um, quad F is all call. Um, it will forever and always be that. There's nothing you can do about it. Quad F will be all call. Um, so... Uh, here in this list, you're going to put the uh, ID numbers of all the other radios <clears throat> that are going to be using this MDC system. Okay, um, so here we've got one radio, and we've got uh, two mobiles, two other mobiles. Um, so similar to how the radio we're programming right now said 7722, um, the ID number for this radio is 7635. So whenever whenever seven six three five transmits, it's going to transmit that number 
um, and that is what we would see on our display if we did not set up this call text. You can leave this blank and it will display the number. Um, but if you take an extra second and type out, you know, enter some data here, um, you know, either, either what the radio number is or the person's call sign who owns the radio, uh, etc. That way, that's what will show up on your display so you know, so you know who is transmitting. Um, it is important to remember that this still does not satisfy Part 97 as far as IDing. You still need to ID yourself, um, but this is just a, a bit more polished way to see who's transmitting. Uh, on your radio. So uh, we're done in here. Um, let's see. Uh, I don't think there's anything we need to do on the channel assignment um, because this is you're just going to assign your personality. Um, and I had let's see. Um, Okay, so I had personality number four set to use MDC signaling. So that's this group of channels right here because we have selected personality number four. So all of these channels with personality number four will use the MDC uh, signaling. Um, you can also apply a PL tone on top of it if you wish. Um, so that can be helpful. Um, if you leave them carrier squelch like this, sometimes you can get false opening, and uh, um, that can be that can be annoying. So, um, typically, setting up the PL tone uh, is most beneficial. So, um, that's really it uh, as far as getting basic MDC 1200 set up uh, on your radio. Um, MDC repeater ID list. Um, unless you are running like a Quantar or something like that, you know, a Motorola or an MDC capable repeater. Um, and this isn't going to do you any good right here. Um, so we won't go into that. Um, that's it. Um, when you get this stuff set up just like this, uh, you will have a functional MDC 1200 system. Uh, you can enjoy your Motorola radio to the fullest uh, extent as it was. <laughs> uh, you can relive the glory days of the 90s. Um, it's amazing stuff. It really is. So anyway, uh, I hope you found this helpful. Um, I think I'm probably going to start a programming series on the XTS series, the portables. They're really quite similar. Um, so if anyone's interested in the MDS or <laughs> XTS uh, uh, radio programming, uh, drop a comment, drop a like, uh, we'll be sure to get that done. So, okay, that's it. Uh, that's all I got for this one. This is a bit of a short one. I haven't had much time to get out here and record anything. So, um, I hope, uh, hope everyone understands and you're getting busy for me. It's summertime, not summer. Well, it's springtime coming up on summer and our nice weather is extremely short here. So we may try to maximize it as, uh, most as best we can. So pretty much going a thousand miles an hour non-stop so doesn't leave a lot of time for making uh, videos but I will do my best so anyway thank you all for watching I hope this was helpful I hope you had a fantastic day this is Alan N0 ZFG out <laughs>